Hi everybody, my name is Raul Hernandez. I'm part of the Cypress marketing team and uh, I want to tell you a little bit about our, our motor control evaluation kit. This kit is the CY8C kit 037 PSEC 4 motor control evaluation kit. This kit basically comes with an Arduino compatible motor control shield. It comes with a VLDC motor. It comes with a little screwdriver to you know, fix all the connectors and all the cables necessary. In this case, we're going to use our PSEC 4 CY8 ticket 042 board to, to play with. We're going to go through some of the out-of-the-box examples and we're going to do a couple of demonstrations. This is a nice and very flexible little board. We have a potentiometer which we can uh, use to move and, and vary the speed of the motor. It has a whole effect, a whole effect uh, sensor connector that we can use. In the back we have all our, our power IGBTs. We have our 12 and up to 48 volt uh, adapters. We have uh, USB to serial bridge IC. We have a series of jumpers that can help us implement different motor control algorithms. So we can actually do uh, sensor BLDC, we can do sensorless, we can do field oriented control, single shunt, uh, and double shunt motor control. All of these motor control algorithms can actually be used and implemented using this board and this motor. And we provide all the example codes which are available at cypress.com. So you can just go download it and uh, get you started. With that said, we're going to go ahead and open uh, PSOC Creator. Once we download the starter kit, it's going to be loaded down here in the example in kids, and we have all these different uh, projects to play with. We're going to start off with the very basic censored BLDC motor control project. We'll double click and create a new project from it. This is going to open our schematic. So what we have here is the PWM drive and commutation table. We have the pins that are driving all, all the PWMs for the different phases of the motor, and we have the whole effect uh, sensors here. So what we're doing is, based on the control register and the whole sensor, we're basically taking that information into the lookup table, which then helps us generate the PWM signals out of it. Just to refresh a little bit our memory, we can always go to the bottom left corner of the component and open a datasheet for that particular component. In this case, the lookup table is the one we're using. We're creating a, a little state machine that helps us drive the PWMs out based on the reading. And the PWM signal is actually generated by this component right here, which we can also click and we can see the setup that we have. All right, so we have a single clock going in, generating the PWM signal. We are controlling that through this control register and driving the different signals based on the lookup table results. Now for speed measurement, we also have a lookup table that's getting the information from the whole, whole effect sensors. And we're using a counter to do that and uh, measure the, the speed. Two other blocks that I would like to talk about are the ADC, which is using a sequencer to read the voltage from the bus and the RPMs, and an overcurrent protection, which is actually using our IDAC and our comparator in order to trigger an interrupt and help us with overcurrent protection. Now, what we're going to do now is build this project, and we're going to go into our main.c. As always, all the documentation is available online and the program is very well documented. So go ahead and you know, download it and play with it. It's a very simple process. We, have our, we start our user interface, our hardware, and basically go into our forward loop that basically takes the information and runs the motor. Let's do the connections now. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect the Pioneer board and we're going to connect the shield what I did before starting the video was actually connect the three terminals of the motor to these motor control uh, connector. And this is the Hall effect sensor. So the signal is coming from the motor for the, the whole sensor signals. And this is how we were driving the PWMs. Once we have this set up, we need the power supply that's included in the kit. We'll connect this here and we'll program our part. As we can see, everything got downloaded. And the way to start is we're going to press one of our user switches. And that's going to start our motor control uh, algorithm. What I can do now is with the ADC, I can actually move the pot and speed it up and slow it down on the way to a lower speed. All right, so this was actually 
as we saw right out of the box, it's a very simple example. We use some of the digital logic, we use the lookup tables, we uh, use our internal uh, analog front end to do some of the measurements and some of the monitoring. So it's a great way to get started and uh, go ahead and start playing with motors. We hope you enjoyed the demo. I'll always go to cypress.com backslash motor control or backslash psic4 where you have all the information you need to get started. And please share with us whatever you come up with at cypress.com backslash projects.